one day I'll get to work on my car, but until then I got to be a responsible adult and mow the yard and fix the stuff around the house. So today I put some upgrades on my Ferris lawnmower, which I desperately needed because I've been airing this tire up for about a year waiting on a deal. So I found some yard sale score big time. Couldn't believe it. Check it out. On the way home today, um, we went by and seen this yard sale over here close to where we live at, and I walked by. I'm always got a note in my head about what I need and all that kind of stuff like that. If, if the, the people that are close to me says I'm cheap, but I'm not cheap. I'm just thrifty, and I pay attention to what's around me. There's a deal everywhere if you're looking for it. And if you got just a little bit of money in your pocket. So I walk up on these things. I see these wheels. They're tubeless. They're solid. You don't have to put air in them. 13 times 6.5 by 6. And I was like, man. And I've been waiting and waiting. I've been putting air in this tire right here for almost a year, making it stretch out where I didn't have to go buy no $200, you know, $100 or something dollar tire. And I walk up on this guy, has 60 on the box. After talking to him for a second or two, 35 bucks. I'm out. Got in there and dug out my two three quarter wrenches out. Now all I got to do is take that thing off and hopefully, I'm noticing this thing right here may not be. Looks like it's got some bushings or something in. It. Hopefully that thing's going to work. We'll see right here. We'll see right here. Okay, so I get the tire and stuff off there, and I'm like, oh man, wrong size. Look at here. It does look at that? Wrong size. I'm like, dang. So I'm in here trying to figure it out. Like I said, I bought these at a yard sale there. And then I thought, wait a minute. I heard that thing wiggling around. So I get out here and look and check this out. This is all off in the bottom. So I guess that I can get in through here. And here's all this bushings. So I guess maybe it does matter if you read the instructions and stuff, huh? So now I just got to figure out how to put that in there on that. So I get you just to, I don't have, now that I got my, I don't have any instructions. So I'm assuming I can probably find a bolt for hopefully whatever size this right here is. Nada, nada. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't guess that did help shoot and i was all excited so i guess i'm gonna have to go to the probably tractor store or something tomorrow and figure out me a a do my dad for that thing right there i didn't thought i'd had some but no well i went to lunch and stopped by the local hardware store the wheels last night where i showed you this is too big and i was like oh my goodness what we're gonna do had all kinds of different things well, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go up there and spend $21. Knock that out. Put that one in. Boom. Put that thing right on there. May have to put a washer or two on it for the spacing on it, but still. $35. Bucks, $21. So that's 50 How much is that? $35 and $21 is $56.91. So less than $60. Bucks. How about that? Can't wait to get home and see if this works. All right, so I'm home from work now. And yes, I went ahead and tried to figure out how they went in there where I wouldn't be embarrassed when I went and put them back on it. And two, I really don't know how I could get in here to where you could see what I was doing. So I knocked the other bushings out at work. Here we are. That's got that one on there. And then I'm going to take, and I'm hoping that that'll, oh, that one won't go on there because I'm going to hit my uh, grease fitting there. So I don't guess I'll get to put them on there like I thought I was going to. So here is my stagger. All these right here, as I found in the in there the other night, when I was doing it, all these are in there. So I figured out, got my spacing. To save you that boring task. And then these are the, uh, these are the ones for this side. And these are the ones for this side in here and put them on there and we'll give this thing a test run. Like I said, I don't hardly see how, I don't have the equipment to be able to 
show you how to get in there, but it's just putting them in there and putting that bolt through. And I didn't have to end up doing any drilling or anything. I just took pop those out. You see that's too big? And put those in, bam. I'm rolling for 35 and 21 something. So just a few dollars. All right, I got it on there. And not because I don't think it'll work. I just want to make sure it will work. And I only changed the one side that had the flat on. It's the exact same tire anyway. I'll go mow. I got to go mow tomorrow, probably six or eight acres. So, but to make sure, we'll give the old girl a test run here. And if you not ever got to ride one of these things, this is like a race car lawnmower. Big boy eight. 